Hello, Claire. Hello, Brian. I have the new round of changes for Ryan's Hope that I would like to share with you. Oh, help me. I'm sorry. I said please tell me. Okay, certainly. First off, we have a new heart healthy tie in that we need to work into the show. So from now on, there is no more Ryan's Bar. Excuse me? It will now be Ryan's Pink Berry. Pink Berry is better for you than alcohol. Hence the heart healthy tie in. Wait, I, I'm sorry. This is Ryan's Hope. The show is about an Irish family who own a bar. Well, one of the Pink Berry varieties is green. That is good enough for the Irish tie in. But I. Next, we will be having a serial killer hit Riverside and kill off half the cast. What? And here's the kicker, it's Maeve Ryan. Well, I, 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 I. She's only been pretending to be a sweet old lady all this time. Well, I'd say she's more complex than... In reality, she is a criminal mastermind known as the Shamrock. She's poisoned half of New York with strychnine in her Irish stew. Siobhan, Ryan, John Reed, Roger, Pat, Seneca, Lee, Sister Mary Joel all toast. John McBain travels up from Landview and cracks the case during May sweeps. Have you been snorting strychnine yourself? Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. How can she serve Irish stew from a pink berry? It's the bad memories of the tainted stew that inspire the survivors to change it to a pink berry. You have got to be. And then in a year or so we'll say that it was a rare sensitivity to sunspots that caused her to snap and we'll bring her back completely cured and played by Beth Ellers and recast Johnny with Ricky Paul Golden. Lightning in a bottle, that's the kind of chemistry those two have. I'd like to hit you over the head with a bottle. We are not amused.